Hi everyone, trust you all are doing well. I'm logged in as an admin user right now. So what I want to do is I want to create a custom redirect. So redirecting the admins in the to in the writers to their own dashboard and the normal users so that they can be able to view their billing and all that kind of stuff to their own dashboard, right? And update their profile as well. Right. So we're gonna do that. Now reason for that is I like to keep my admin orientated dashboard on its own. You could have used your own, just the same dashboard and just change that certain parts, just show if it's an admin user or a writer or things like that. You can use that. But I like to do keep them separate so the admin go to their own dashboard, admin slash dashboard, and the other one will just be dashboard. All right. So that's what we're going to do in this one. So let's get started. All right, in order to create that response, we go to app, HTTP. We're going to create a new folder right here. And we're going to call this one response. Uh, let's make it responses. Plural. All right, then inside that, we're going to create a new file and we're going to call it login response.php. All right, so now we've got a file right there. We can just open that with PHP tag. Right, and then we can just going to do a namespace to this path. So it's app forward slash HTTP. And let's see if we've got our responses. HTTP, and then we can add our responses like this. Right, so now we add that folder. So let's quickly create our login response. So we're going to do a class a login response. And then we're going to implement a contract for the login response. Login response contract. That one right there. Okay, so we bring that in. Okay, so contracts login response. All right. So the next thing that we want to do is we're just going to create inside this, we're going to create a new class. So public function. And we're going to do a to response. And then we're going to pass in the request. Right, so you might wonder where this is coming from. So let me just quickly show you. The login response implements this. Okay, so let's quickly go there. And as you can see, it's the login response interface extends responsible. So let's go there. You will see we got the to response class right here that we're trying to fulfill. So let me just copy that and paste it in there. Like that. Okay, so I obviously misspelled it. Right, so now in this one, what we're going to do is we're going to check if the authenticated user. Right, so we can actually do this. Let's say user. We're going to equal that to the auth user. Okay, so we're going to equal the, the, basically then to the authenticated user. Let's just make sure I bring the auth side of the top. Right, so the next thing is we're going to say if the user, all right, is admin or if the user is a writer, a writer, or if the user is super. Right, so right, then we're gonna do a return redirect. All right, we're gonna redirect to a route and we're gonna call this route admin dot index. Right, okay, and if that is if the user is not, we can just return uh, redirect them to intended intended route and we can just if that's available we can just go to config we can just go to fortify dot home okay let's just close this off right you might wonder where this is coming from so if we go to our config file we go to fortify and we go to home right there. You will see the RAD home service provider. I'm referring to this. We go to RAD home service provider. You will see it redirects basically to the 
dashboard right there okay let's close this off so what nice about this if you want to change where this ride is going to you can change it here without him to come here to change it right so anyway that's our response so if the user is a admin user a writer or a super admin they get redirected to this one right here else they will just go to the normal dashboard all right now we created this so our app doesn't know of this of this basically this custom response okay so we need to let our application know of this response that we created all right in order to do, do that we have to go to app uh, providers auth service no to fortify service provider right so in fortify service provider what we have to do is we have to bind so we're going to do this so this app all right we need to bind basically so bind all right we need to bind basically let me just close this off the login response the contract okay so where it is this one right here all right we're just going to change this as um, i just want to change this because we're going to we have two login responses and the names might clash we just want to change this to be the login response all right is the login response contract so let me just copy that and paste it in here right the second one is the one that we just created so login response under responses that one right there so class all right so now our app is knowing about our one that we created so let me just see where did we bring it in so this one right here all right because we named it the same so but the contract in this one is not the same okay so we just want to bind those two in our fortify service provider and so in the fortify service provider there's obviously additional things right here so quite nice all right so the next thing that we want to do now is i just want to create a middleware for our is admin just to check if a user is admin user so we're going to open up our terminal all right so what we're going to do is we're going to do php artisan make and uh, we're going to call this one middleware and we're going to call it is admin middleware okay so press enter call to undefined app yep. this mustn't be a method so let me just go and fix that quickly so app providers fortify service provider this mustn't be that it must be like this app like that okay so let's anyway let's go ahead that middleware again so it's supposed to work now as you can see our middleware is created successfully right in order to get to the middleware we go to app http middleware you will see we got a new one is admin right here okay so let's quickly create that right so the first thing that we want to do is we want to check so if the auth, auth guard right we're going to pass in the guard right and then we're going to check if that user and then we're going to call on can right, by default let's just set the guard to null God. we can set that to null right, so if the authentication guard the user we're going to check if that user can let's bring in our user policy right if the user can be an admin so that one right there okay and then we're just going to check it against the user right and then we're just going to go to the next request. All right. And if it's not, then we're just going to throw an exception. HTTP exception. And we're just going to do a 403. And then we're just going to say for better. All 
one. So we're just going to make sure that policy is imported. Our user class is imported as well. And we make sure our authentication guard is imported as well. Otherwise, we're going to get an error. All right, so let's quickly go into this user policy. Let me just show you. Now, the admin is calling on the admin method, and the admin is just basically checking if the user is an, uh, basically an admin or a moderator like that okay all right so the next thing we want to do is we want to register this one so let's go to app uh, http you will see we got a kernel right here so under protected route middleware we're going to bring in a new one and we're going to call this one admin or you can call it is admin all right like this and then we're obviously going to the app HTTP middleware, we just go there, and then we're just going to do the is admin class like this. All right, so that enables us just to use this inside our controllers. So let me just open any controller quickly. Let me just show you app. Let's go to the admin post controller right here. So in here, we can actually do this now. So public function, and we're just going to do a construct. And we can just say return this uh, middleware, right? And we can pass now the is admin. As you can see, it's available for me right here. So we're just going to pass that in right now. And we can obviously assign the authentication one as well, right? So that's how we can implement that. Right, but anyways, we're going to use different policies when we get to actually the controllers. But this admin route will be handy. A little bit later but i just since we're creating the locking response i just wanted to include it in this video as well but we're going to use it a little bit differently going forward all right so that's it for me guys if you like the video please give it a like and if you have any feedback suggestions please leave it for me in the comment section and i'll see you in the next one adios